Welcome back everybody, thanks for swinging by. So I wanted to make a video on how to install the GJ Motorsports third brake light on a Gen 1. There's a ton of videos that talk about the Gen 2. I didn't find anything online on the Gen 1s. My brother and I just spent the past couple hours figuring it out. So now we're gonna make a video and show you guys how to do it too. So step one is to take out the OE third brake light. Super easy. There's two screws right here that you take out. When you pop this out, this harness is connected there and it has two light bulbs. I took the light bulbs out. You can just pull them out pretty easily. This is an important harness to know. This harness is gonna be tucked in under the headliner and you need to disconnect this and plug in the harness that you got for the, from the GJ Motorsports harness. That's step one. So step two is to remove this and remove the headliner. You see this hole right here? There's a cap that covers it. You pop off the cap and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right inside of this hole that you unscrew and then you can start popping this out. Once you pop this out, right here on the liner, there's these two rivets or pop out screws, if you will. There's one right here and there's one over there. You pop those out and the headliner comes out really easy. All right, once you have the headliner removed, you see that little, I hope the camera can see it for you, show you guys. That's the hole exposing to the outside that you need to get that connector wired up to. If I zoom out, that's how you get it. It's right up there. And then you're gonna one, run the wiring, the harness wiring that uh, GJ provides. You can either do it below this or above it. We did it above it because that's how the OEM one was. And we wired it all the way down, through down there, through this. This is really easy to pop off. If I show you guys here, it's just like that, right? And there's three rivets or pop sockets that you just pop out. It comes out. We actually didn't remove, we didn't remove this. We just lifted it up and passed the wire through. This is taken out the same way as the other one. So as you can see, we just passed the wire through right here. And then we wired it up all the way up here. So here's where it gets a little tricky with the wiring. If you've never done wiring before like me, it's a little bit of trial and, uh, trial and error, but let's see if we can get the camera to look up. So we wired both the yellow and the blue that came with the GJ Motorsports wiring harness to the skinny brown connection. That is for auxiliary switch four. That's what I wanted the ambers to be wired to. So we wired it to that. Um, and as you can see, hopefully, it's pretty hard to tell. I'm sorry for this. You can imagine how difficult this was. Um, not being able to see it. There's a screw. There it is right there. That screw right there is where we put, is where we put the ground that came in the harness. We just unscrewed that, it's a 10 millimeter, took it off, put the black on it, screwed it back on, and there's our ground. And that is it. Um, you can pop this section off too. We did just for better visibility and see the wires. But that is it. That is the full installation. Uh, we're gonna close everything back up and show you guys what the final product looks like. All right, everybody. So here is the final product of getting your GJ Motorsports third brake light installed in your Gen 1 Raptor. So there is your um, cargo light. So it turns on whenever the doors open. You can't really tell how bright it is because it's sunny out, but these are super bright. They're the Baja Design S2s. And this is what the ambers look like. All right, I wanted to show you guys 
uh, what the GJ Motorsports lights look like at night compared to during the day. There's a cargo light. As you can see, it goes all the way to the neighbors. Super bright light. And I'll show you the amber. So another uh, install that we did was getting the uh, Amber Baja Squadron Pros mounted to the radiator. So now we have those as amber lights and we still have the eight pillar spot Baja design. So a lot of lighting should be ready to roll when it comes to uh, Wyoming. Uh, here's what the fronts look like. So here are the eight pillar spot. A-pillar spotlights look like. All right, everybody, that's it. That's the GJ Motorsports third brake light installation. I have no wiring experience or electrical experience at all. My brother has very little, but we were able to knock this out. There's a little bit of trial and error throughout the process, but hopefully this video helps you guys out, especially the Gen 1 owners, since there's nothing else out there. Uh, appreciate you swinging by. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.